Let's now shift gears to education matters. Wasu is now accusing government officers of a ploy to cripple learning in public universities to enable their private universities thrive. According to Wasu Secretary General Constantine Wasonga, Inter-Public University Council Consultative Forum, IPUCCF, has not submitted a counter-offer contrary to the directive by Parliamentary Committee on Education. Wasonga insists that the strike is on until a return to work formula is is negotiated and implemented. IPCCF's sham document does not in any way respond to the mandatory negotiable issues in a CBA. It is not a counter offer. Kenyans can now openly see the frustrations lecturers have when negotiating with IPCCF in a boardroom. <coughs> when the Education Committee or Parliament directed the National Treasury, to give a counter offer, did the National Treasury interpret that to mean that union officials should be given a five year leave of absence? Parliament meant National Treasury should offer funds for review or pay package of university workers. In word, IPCCF has refused to begin. And Wasu has categorically rejected the sham document IPCC presented at the negotiated table. WASU members are extremely disappointed by the sham counteroffer and the action by IPCCF has worsened the current crisis. As regards pension contribution, get me clearly, and other structural reductions and the third party deductions withheld by some universities, which was characterized by several hundred members of parliament as criminal. Owasu will follow the MP's advice and immediately institute both civil and criminal proceedings in accordance with the law against all vice chancellors implicated in the scandal. Owasu empathizes with the more than 600,000 students whose academic program continue to be disrupted. However, it is the government to blame for the continuation of the strike and the pending collapse of the higher education sector. But as a union, we are not going to allow public universities to collapse so that private universities thrive. Because we are seeing far. There's a scheme whereby some individuals want higher education sector to collapse so that their private universities can thrive. We are not going to allow that. Two. I want to tell our members wherever they are, don't return to work before a return to work formula is negotiated. If you report back to work without a negotiated return to work formula, I want to tell you that you are, you are on your own. The union is very categorical. The strike is on until the 2017-2021 CBA is negotiated signed, implemented, and money banked in our members' accounts. More importantly, a return to work formula is signed. University education, if not checked well, is collapsing. It is collapsing. And that's why we are saying now, perhaps it is the hand of the president that will help. Because it's going to be a shame. If for the last 46, 47 days, no learning, no operations within our universities are going on, and you're just sitting on your laurels as government, seriously? How is the world looking at us? How is the world looking at Kenya? This is a fundamental question and a moral question that we need to ask ourselves. Kwa hivyo sasa sisi, tuasema ni vibaya. Kwa mba sisi, kama wafanyikazi katika vio vikuu, Tumekuwa kwenye mgomo na mgomo waendelea hadi wa leo hamna yote katika serikali ambayo imejongea mbele kuja kuzungumza nasi au kuturai tutumie njia ngani ya kuweza kuweka haya mambo yote ambayo tumekuwa nayo nyuma yetu